What is a proxy and a reverse proxy? So that is the topic of this video. So let's talk about what a proxy is. Now, the definition of a proxy is just someone or something that has authority to do something for another person or thing. So in terms of computers and networks, a proxy is a server. And a proxy server acts on behalf of clients on a network, such as retrieving data for those clients. A proxy is a middleman that sits between a private network and the public internet. So for example, here we have a private network with a bunch of computers or clients. Now all of these computers have access to the internet. But as most of us know, with all of these computers having the ability to access the internet, it could also create a massive security concern. Because with all of these individual computers accessing the internet, they could draw in malicious traffic that could wreak havoc inside this network. So this is where a proxy, or to be more specific, a forward proxy can be beneficial. When a forward proxy server is used on this network, the proxy server is now the guardian of this network. So when all of these computers want to access the internet, they go to the proxy server instead. And then the proxy server will fetch the data out on the internet on their behalf. So by doing this, this creates a safety barrier between a private network and the internet. Because a major benefit of a proxy is that it can regulate traffic by blocking harmful websites. And some other benefits of a proxy is that it hides the identity of clients by masking their IP addresses and using its own IP address. So when these clients connect to websites and servers out on the internet, those websites and servers only see the IP address of the proxy server and not the clients. Another benefit is that it logs user activity. A lot of organizations like to know what websites that their clients are visiting. And by using a proxy, it will keep track of the websites that were visited and how long they were on those websites. And another benefit is that it can bypass restricted content. Some organizations, like schools and governments, may restrict access to certain websites. But by using a proxy, you may be able to bypass those restrictions and access those restricted websites. And finally, another benefit of using a proxy server is speed. Because a proxy can cache or store copies of websites that are frequently used by their clients. So instead of the proxy server fetching the same websites out on the internet over and over again, those websites can be stored in the proxy's cache database instead. So this was an example of a forward proxy. Now a reverse proxy, just like the name says, is the reverse of a forward proxy. A reverse proxy is also placed on a network, but instead of regulating traffic going out of a network, a reverse proxy regulates traffic coming into a network. So for example, here we have a private network with servers. And servers are just powerful computers that clients connect to if they want to access certain data, such as retrieving a website or access a database and so on. And these servers will accept incoming connections from clients outside its network from the internet. So when a client on the internet wants to access certain data on these servers, they will directly connect to one of these servers. But by having direct access to a server, this can be a security risk and open the door for hackers to create problems on these servers. So this is where a reverse proxy can help. By using a reverse proxy on this network, it creates a single point of entry that can regulate incoming traffic. So now, when computers from the internet want to access data on these servers, they no longer directly communicate with the servers. They only communicate with the reverse proxy server. And then the reverse proxy will fetch the data from the server and then direct it back to the computer. So what are the benefits of a reverse proxy? Well, as I stated before, a reverse proxy increases the security on a private network. And one of the ways it does this is by hiding the IP addresses of the servers. So when a computer on the internet wants to access a website, for example, on one of these servers, they will not see the IP address of the server. They will only see the IP address of the reverse proxy. Another security benefit is that it will block malicious traffic such as what happens in a DDoS attack. 
A DDoS attack is a simultaneous attack from a bunch of computers over the internet targeting a specific server by its IP address. And a reverse proxy is an effective defense against this type of attack because it will sit between the client and the server acting like a buffer to stop the attack from ever reaching the server. And it will also hide the server's IP address. And another benefit is load balancing. Most of the time in a network, multiple servers are used to handle incoming traffic. And some servers may get overwhelmed with more traffic than others. So to solve this problem, a reverse proxy can act like a traffic cop that is used to evenly distribute traffic to multiple servers so that certain servers don't get overloaded with traffic. So in short, a forward proxy is there to protect clients while a reverse proxy is there to protect servers. So now that we understand the difference between forward and reverse proxies, you're probably wondering how to build your own proxy network. And the good news is you don't have to. Bright Data is an industry leader that has developed a network of over 72 million proxy IPs globally. Bright Data's proxy network consists of four proxy types, such as residential proxies, Residential proxies offer anonymous browsing using real residential IP addresses popular for web scraping due to their low block rate. ISP proxies. ISP proxies are fast, reliable, and used by businesses for web scraping, benefiting from a broad IP pool. Data center proxies. Data center proxies unaffiliated with ISPs and hosted in data centers are cost-effective solutions for large-scale web scraping providing fast speeds and an extensive IP pool. Mobile proxies. Mobile proxies offer high anonymity and anti-scraping bypass capabilities using IP addresses assigned by mobile carriers, ideal for tasks demanding stringent anonymity. Bright Data's network is known for its 99.9% .9 uptime, and in addition, Bright Data offers proxy management tools, web unlockers, and a scraping browser that allows you to collect public web data just like a real user at scale. The proxy manager helps you manage and optimize your proxy operations. The web unlocker ensures that you can access the data you need unrestricted and the scraping browser allows you to scale up with a seamless data extraction experience from a real browser. So if you're interested in getting a proxy, please visit brightdata.com forward slash powersert or just click the link below in the description of this video and you'll get $25 off when you book a demo. So guys, I want to thank you for watching this video on proxies. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next video.